This is Afternoon Sports Slay with the Queen, Micah K. Now, remember, I'm doing this for the love of the game. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and definitely hit that notification bell. Make sure you are sharing and commenting, too. Okay, let's get right into it. We have Joey Spencer versus Dan Carpensi, all right? Now, you know how it is with the Queen. I'm going to give you my background information first, then I'm going to give you the analysis, then you are going to get my prediction. Let's get into the the background information first unbeaten prospect joey spencer takes on dan carpensi in an eight round telecast opener following a storied amateur career 21 year old spencer is already making waves in the pros as a super welterweight spencer earned pbc's 2019 prospect of the year honors and the source i got this information from is premier boxing champions okay.com let's get into the analysis part let's start with Dan first. His last two fights were against Cody Wilson and Jamie Walker. Now, the fights I based my analysis on is Rogue Zapata and Rick M. Now, I couldn't find as many vids, you know, videos on Dan, so... As I would like, but that's okay. We're going to get into the juice. We're going to get into the analysis part. Dan likes to come at you. He definitely uses aggression, will fight in the inside, uses a lot of combos, will utilize the jab properly at times. Dan can throw some nice strong punches with the right and the left, has some nice accuracy, and definitely has nice power in the right that can hurt his opponent. Now, also, anybody that has any other good knowledge on Dan, definitely share i love a good analysis make sure you are commenting below now one thing that i can tell about dan too is he really likes to box okay let's get into some more notes let's get into some more juice all right what i'm looking for from dan definitely like to see him sharpen up his defense make sure his defense is good make sure to not you know get hit with too many devastating punches now dan likes to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his opponent as i stated before but he has to make Make sure that he keeps his composure and discipline, okay, ladies and gentlemen, all my slayers and slayettes, are you tapped in? Are you flowing with the queen? Now, let's transition over to Joey Spencer. Here is my analysis. His last two fights were with Isaiah Selden and Sean West. Joey shows quickness, okay, alert and awareness in the ring. Excellent power and accuracy. Nice double hooks. Nice with the left and the right hand. Dealing with power punches to the head and the body. So he's just not a head hunter. He likes those body shots plus the head shots, okay? He moves in and out of the ring really well. Throws nice counters. Definitely a nice counter right. Good lead right hands and also really good uppercuts, all right? Overall, to me, just a really high quality boxer with with a good skill set and IQ with nice movement and flow in the ring once again. Now, a significant fight that I looked at was Akeem Black. I saw his progression after this fight, after Spencer, excuse me, fought Black, okay? His patience has improved, his timing and relaxing to me more to make the right moves at the right time. Now, what I'm looking for from Joey is Joey is to make sure to be aware of the quick counter punching abilities make sure his defense is on point and to protect his chin and this is just not against dan that's really just any opponent okay so i like to see certain things that i noticed from different fights now in the fight against black lennox lewis said joey has to think about defense while he's thinking about offense okay and really what i'm looking for from joey too you know just making sure he's staying composed and patient at all times now let's get into the queen's prediction really quickly now what i I see from this fight is from Joey Spencer really just pure domination okay and I can definitely see a knockout coming so I definitely have Dan losing that's not to take anything away from Dan I just feel like Joey is the it factor and he has the complete package to get the job done on this particular night okay Slayers and Slayettes tap in let me know how you feel now let's get into a little bit of last minute Slay notes just a little bit of tidbits okay I cannot wait to see Joey in really really big fights i'll definitely be supporting especially him being from michigan you know the queen is from detroit all right you already know what it is 313 all day every day so i have to support all my boxers from the midden okay that is it 
for now if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button and definitely hit the notification bell trust me it's so much more on the way it's the queen micah k and it's afternoon sports slay i'm out